In this chapter, we'll cover the essentials of how to don your gear before boarding the truck, don your gear at the fire scene, the importance of closures and interface areas, and how to properly remove your gear. If you don't completely wear your gear properly, you are giving routes for that fire to burn you. You are giving routes for the heat to get in and burn you. Now we'll go through donning our gear so that we're ready to leave the station and go to our truck. First thing we're going to do, we come up, grab our hood and kick off our shoes. Place the hood on and leave the hood in the up position. This will help when we go to put our coat on. We're going to bend over and grab our boots. Get into our boots and pull our pants up. Pull the suspenders up. Zip. Velcro your closure. Hook. And if you have a belt system, you need to make sure you tighten your belt system. So your pants are on. Why we leave the hood up is when we turn around and grab our coat, we don't want our hood getting bunched up down in the coat as we go to put it on. So we're going to swing our coat on. Whatever closure system you have in your coat has to be closed. Everything. If you have snaps in between, you have to have those closed also. Close our flaps. We can pull our hood down. And to go to the truck, we now just can carry our helmet and gloves and proceed to the truck to finish getting our aircraft on. Now we're going to kneel down as we would at the door to get dressed, take our gloves, we can put them under our knees to secure them, helmet right in front of us. Now is where we're going to pull on our mask, pull our hood up over the mask to get our seal. So we're going to don our mask. Once you've donned your pack, pull down on the back of your coat to make sure you still have overlap. It's not hung up in your air pack. What we're going to do is we have superheated gear. We are not hurt, but we need to get our gear off in a safe manner. You're going to want to leave your gloves on, loosen your chin strap, and unbuckle. You can now take your helmet off and set it down. You're going to work the hood back. With your gloves on, and then we're going to remove our face piece also with leaving our gloves on because of how hot everything is that we've got on. We've got that off, we can remove our air pack by just sliding out of it. With this being hot, this is going to happen very quickly, and we're doing it slowly here for demonstration purposes. Drop that off with your gloves on still. We're going to try to work our way out of our coat by undoing our buckles and our closures with gloves on. And then you can kind of work your hands back. And if your gloves are really hot, a really easy thing to do, just work your hands back out of them and then throw them down on the ground. It's pretty simple. And then now we're just going to quickly get out of our coat, pull it off pull the hood off and we'll remove the upper portion of our turnout gear quickly to start to pull off. We're going to take the pants off. In the past we've really taken our time to accordion over the boots but if you're in a situation where you need to get these off to get cooled off just get your gear off. So you're going to undo your buckle of your uh, belt and then the buckle here a lot of times it's not going to be too hot that you can't touch because it's been under a lot of layers of your gear. You should be okay to take it off. If not you can pick up a glove or a hood or something to help get that undone or have one of your co-workers take it off for you. But now you're just going to kind of peel these down and not really worry about getting them folded down. You're just going to get them off. 
work your foot out of them real quick, and then you can fix them later on once you've got them off. This is just to get you out of the gear, to get you cooled off. You're just gonna kick your foot out of it, and now you're out of your gear. Be aware of signs of superheated gear, dye burning off that may appear to be steam or off-gassing, or if you see any discoloration of any element in your PPE. Avoid compressing superheated PPE. Doing so may cause steam burns. If necessary, hold your arms out from your sides and have another person roll the coat off of your arms to avoid compressing the coat against your arms. We now return to the station from our run. We're going to put our gear away and hang it back up. Hang our helmet back where it is. Place our gloves. A lot of guys will keep their gloves in a pocket. That's fine. Just make sure to give them a once over that they're clean, dry, and ready for use. And then with the hood, same thing. We're going to look over it once we've taken it off. Remember to take it off as soon as you can on your way back for um, heat loss. Because if you keep that around your neck and stuff in the summertime, it's going to really retain heat and help you get your, um, get your body temperature cooled down. When we doff our coat, remember, we're not going to pull on the wristlets because that's going to oval out your wristlets. We're going to pull on the, the sleeve itself up on the cuff, work our hand back, and then start to take our coat off. The coat just easily falls off once you work that out. So over here, same thing. Work on, grab the cuff, pull it down. With the pants, we're going to accordion the pant, undoing our buckles accordion the pant down over the boots. Reach it down and take in your time work your pant over your boot. And then just step out of your boots. And you're now ready for the next call.